What's up guys, it's Dendodon here, and today I'm taking a look at another boat simulator that I know of, and that is this one, Ship Simulator Extremes, which is quite an old game now, and it does kind of lack support in a way, but it is on Steam, and if you can get it to work, because there are some issues getting it running on some systems, it is, well, it's an alright game, I suppose, but I'm just going to show you, and we're starting off with this one, which is the Red Jet 4, which is a fast catamaran ferry, which is from the UK, as it says, it's based in Southampton, and yet, for some reason, we're in Sydney Harbour, because, well, given I'm Australian, I decided to pick an Australian port, and we're outside the National Maritime Museum, which has the Endeavour and a bunch of other ships that aren't rendered in this game. Although, fun fact, I have walked across this bridge, so I do know where that is. But anyway, let's bring up the HUD, whoops, and there we go. So yes, you can see the basic controls, you control them with these stick things here, they tell you information about the various engines, you've got this little indicator that will help align the ship if you're doing missions, because I've just got it set in free roam mode, but unlike Virtual Sailor, this game does have missions with objectives and things, so it does actually give you something to do, which is, you know, always a nice thing. You've also got this compass, which obviously tells you which way you're pointing. It'll also show you which way you're moving, which is quite handy when docking. Up here, you get information about your depth, you've got your time, you've got a chart which you can expand and go, oh, I don't know what any of this means. But, you know, charts are useful, so we can close that, because we don't need it at the moment. But the thing I like about this game is, if we set the camera, we can go to walkthrough, you can walk around the ships, which is, you know, quite nice. So we're just walking around inside the passenger deck of this ferry. So let's just close that and hit tab to hide the HUD. And there we go. So we can look out of the bow. We can't go out there because, well, there's no door. But yes, we've got these nice chairs that we can't walk through either because they're solid. How about that, eh? A game that actually recognizes things as existing. That's a first. Uh, so can we get out? I've not actually tested on this one before whether you can get out of it. I'm pretty sure you can, because this game has from container ships all the way up to, like, you know, cruise ships, pilot boats, the tiny little speed boats, and, you know, it's basically all sorts. Oh, we can get out of that door. So there we are, we are on the deck, or the rear deck anyway, and we can walk around our boat. Uh, it's pretty flatly textured, as you can see, but like I say, it is an older game, so we can kind of forgive it for some things. And it does still look alright, I suppose, given, you know, it has a bit more detail in general than the likes of Virtual Sailor. But anyway, here we are, up on the top deck, so we can look around. And you can do this when you're moving, I'm just doing it before we start moving, just to show off. But yep, there we go, there's the lifeboat drums, and let's enter the bridge, shall we? So here we are, there's another way down, so, oops, clip our head through there, and there, we're back in the passenger cabin. But let's get out on the bridge where we can hear stuff going. And you can actually drive it from here, but I'm not going to do that because that's a horrible idea. But we're already moving, so whoops. Let's switch back on over to Helmsman View. And let's stop moving, please. Come on, stop moving. There we go. So I'm actually using the arrow keys here, hence you can see stuff moving down here. But you can, you know, switch it to other things. So let's go to the external view because that looks better orbit view as it's called and we've turned a bit but we should be okay so let's put that on full that on full because this steers using them that's a bit of an issue so actually I'm just gonna hold it down with the forward arrow and yes here we go we are moving now you're only supposed to do five knots we're already doing more than five knots in the harbor but who cares there's nobody around here at the moment to stop us so let's just keep going eh and see where we go. So yeah, like I say, this game actually gives you stuff to do, which is quite nice because, you know, a lot of the simulators have that trouble where it'll be a fairly nice game, but you get bored of it pretty quickly because you can only do, you know, the same thing a few times, then there's nothing else to do. But yeah, this one, like I say, gives you missions, so that's nice. Let's zoom out the chart. There's the Harbour Bridge. I'm thinking for this video, I'm just going to sail past under the bridge and past the Opera House. Oh, a bit of camera glitch there. But yeah, it's basically I was saying, just sail out of Darling Harbour's in a bit, basically. And yes, this game, there's not much of a modding community. I mean, there is to a limited extent, but you know, what can you expect, I suppose? Like I say, the models are alright, 
like I say, this is probably my favourite symbol because it's decently fast. Like I say, we're doing 39 knots at the moment, and that is good for a video because whilst cruise ships are nice, they're not exactly fast, and therefore you'd probably get bored and turn off this video if you haven't turned off already. But anyway, let's just have a look. We can have a little bit more detail of the ship. We got some kind of frequency. I'm guessing that's an advert. Because, you know, I don't actually know anything about these ships, but they are operated by Red Funnel, the original Isle of Wright ferries. So that's something. But yes, here is the bridge that is looking like it's missing its complete underside and not actually attached to the pillars. That's interesting. I think that's a structural error there, lads. Like, where's the road deck? Oh, there we go. There's the road deck. That's just a bit of, um, you know, a log there, or a level of detail. So there's the opera house, so let's just sail under here. There's a bit of a reflection there I can just see of the bridge, so that's not too bad. But yes, one of the famous landmarks. Let's just sail completely under it like that, you know, why not? And then when we come out the other side, we'll try and get one of the harbour. I like to turn the HUD off just because it looks nicer. And yes, there is a bit of sound if you listen to that, like the sound sort of come and go depending on what you're doing. So there's Circular Key over there, which is the main dock. But yeah, that's, you know, I don't know really how would I describe that. That's basically where, if you want to catch a ferry in Sydney, because there are ferries that go all over the place, that is where you'd catch it from. But there, as the bridge unloads, we can have a look at the harbour. Not the harbour, the um, opera house. Let's bring up tab just so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, this is telling us how fast we're rotating. But yeah, we're doing okay. And yeah, like I said, this game, it's an older one. There is some DLC for it, which I haven't bothered getting, because, well, to be honest, I don't play it all that much. But there's, a, you know, the famous sail design. But yeah, the ships in this do actually handle... Oh, that's a bit weird. They do actually handle like you would imagine a ship to handle, so that's nice. And the terrain, whilst being a bit flat, does vaguely look like Sydney. I mean, it's got the landmarks, so that's handy. And yeah, you can sort of sail between worlds, but it's not really recommended. But you can do it. Anyway, let's just pass Fort Denison now, which is basically one of the fortifications made to defend Sydney, because of course this harbour is where they made the first settlement of Australia. So this was one of the ways they decided to defend it was by basically building a floating platform. Well, not floating, it's literally a solid base, but you know what I mean. And yeah, it's basically just a tower with a cannon in it originally. Nowadays, it's basically just a light beacon and museum. And over here, you've got the naval base. But yeah, I'm just going to continue sailing out this way. And you know, there's not really much more I can do for this video because, like I say, it's a ship simulator. And I haven't got as much to show off in it as Virtual Sailor, mostly because you can't switch get, like modes in the game. Once it's loaded, you can't change boats, which is a pain. That's why I really liked Virtual Sailor more than this, is because I could just change what I was doing on the fly, which, you know, is very handy. Anyway, I'm going to say this is the end of the video. This is Ship Simulator Extremes. I'm Denadon, and safe sailing.